welcome everyone. It's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and today I'm making a Funny Friday card with art impressions using the sledding window stamp and die set. So I'm featuring the little snowman and the scene in the background. The stamp measures about two and a half inches by two and a half and then the little snowman can be used to sled across the front and it has a coordinating die. I've cut two panels of white cardstock 5 inches by 5 inches and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp rectangle dies to cut a window in the center. This die also measures 2.5 by 2.5 and, and if you need some help in centering this you can use your 6 inch T-square. Now I have both pieces of paper, the frame and the background in the MISTI and I'm just going to shut the door to grab my stamp and then I can remove the frame before stamping. And then I can stamp my impression, and I've used Simonson's Stamp Intense Black Ink. I've also stamped my little snowman on a piece of white cardstock, and right now I'm getting ready to die cut. The next step is to add the die cut for my sliding mechanism, and I'm using the Simonson's Stamp Slide and Glide dies, and I'm using the longest straight cutting die just to fit under my stamped image. I'll set this down with some Simon Says Stamp very, very low tack tape and I'm going to measure it up to my frame to make sure that it's hidden just under the edge of the bottom part of that opening. And now just to test everything out, I've added the sliding glider into the track just to make sure that it'll slide across the panel. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Seafoam Positively Saturated Ink and I'll be covering the entire surface of the frame. And next, with my very, very low tack tape, I've taped my frame to the back of the stencil, and I also used that reserve piece from the die cutting to fill in the center. And then using a palette knife, I'm adding the Distress Texture Paste in opaque, and I'm covering the entire frame. And once I remove the frame from the stencil, I can take out that center piece and have a really clean stenciling. And now I'm coloring with some Copic markers, doing some basic coloring, and I've chosen muted tones of blues and browns, along with shadowing with gray for my snowy scene. And for my little snowman, I've gone with a little bit brighter colors with a nice bright red scarf and matching gloves and a green tree. And I have all my colors listed in the description box below if you'd like to check them out. And now I'm ready for some assembly and I'm going to slide the glider in. And so you're just going to want to find the track and slide the bottom piece in. And then you can lift the paper out and work it until you can slide that upper part in. And that will slide across that track. I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue and I'm adding some glue just to the top portion of the glider. And then I can place my snowman just onto that glue and I'll let this dry for a few minutes. And next I'm adding some Simon Says Stamp white foam tape, and this is the perfect height so that my snowman doesn't rub against the frame. When putting your foam tape in place, you'll want to make sure that you leave plenty of room below the glider. I've added the foam tape on all four sides of the back panel, and now I'll just attach the frame right on top and make sure that I have that centered. I've also added foam tape to the back side and I wanted to make sure that I'm staying clear of that glider and you'll need to lift this up so that it can glide freely. And I'll be putting this onto some of the Simon Says Stamp Silver Matte cardstock and I'll just remove some of the center pieces before I stick this down in place. And once I have this adhered I can remove the backing of the outside pieces. To finish this off, I've added one of the Simon Says Stamp Reverse Sentiment Strips, and this is my little guy as he slides across. The more that you move him, the more freer he'll scoot across, so I love the interaction of having a slider. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a hidden slider, especially for our Funny Friday Art Impression Stamps and Dies. Be sure to check out the description box below for the supplies and also a link to our blog post with more information. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.